I arrived in, in, in Haiti, in Port-au-Prince, uh, just after the earthquake. So it was very terrible to, to, to see this, this situation. It was the first time for me uh, in this kind of situation I saw yeah, dur during my, my, my work, my years for working for AFP, I, I saw, of course, many, many bad things, but this time I was so terrible, I, I never saw that before. Uh, so many bodies in the streets. Uh, um, you could hear people uh, screaming and crying under uh, the rubbles, and uh, that, was, that was terrible because you knew that um, these people screaming, you couldn't help them. Uh, they, 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 they will die. They will die after uh, after two or three days. That was uh, very difficult to to help, but that was only for the two or three first days because um, people uh, who survived uh, managed to escape the the, the the rebels. So that was easy for them to go to the hospitals with friends and uh, or to find a shelter somewhere. Um, so these people uh, needed food and uh, and water and I couldn't give it to them. I didn't have this for them. The photo with uh, the man throwing a body um, of a child uh, was taken at the morgue uh, of the General Hospital in Port-au-Prince. Um, I know that this is a very difficult photo and I know that um, half of the population doesn't like this photo and I understand that. I took these photos not to, to sh not really to show the bodies but more to talk about this man who maybe lost his family, who maybe lost his house who, and uh, this man does this terrible work, a terrible job to, to help his people, to avoid epidemics. Uh, and it's, it's, it's an emergency, and he has to do it for, for his people, for his country. So I was very moved by this man. And, and it's maybe difficult to say that, but uh, a dead man is a dead man, and it's over for him. But this man, who is alive, who lived uh, this terrible situation, the earthquake, is still here to, 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 to help and, and, and maybe doing the job that the NGOs uh, should do. When I came back to the hotel, I was, I was, I was not sure to, to send it because I know it was very difficult to see. And um, so I discussed with my, my, my colleague and he told me you have to, to, to push this, uh, this photo online. I mean, it's, it's very important. Each time someone talk about this photo, talk to me to the, about this photo, he talks about, uh, about the bodies, but nobody talks about this man. And that's, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a surprise for me. I mean, this guy is alive. And this guy does this for his country, and you have to, 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 to think about it, and not really to the bodies. For the danger, yes, that was dangerous, but it was not dangerous because of the people. It was dangerous because of the police. The police uh, decided to, to shoot in the crowd, uh, to, to kill people just because they were trying to, to survive, taking some uh, stuffs, foods uh, in the in the rubbles. Someone came to me and told me, "Come here, um, there is two dead bodies." I went with them to to see the bodies, shot by the police, and I just realized that one of them uh, were, were, was uh, was in life, was still in life. At the same moment, the police came and shot us, and one guy uh, pushed me. To, to, to save me. And he took the bullet in the head. He's not dead, uh, hopefully. But when I say we are not just witness, it means that um, these people uh, who 
lived a now horrible situation that that then they see you as someone who wants to help them but they also help you and um and uh he at this this day he saved my life he, he didn't say this guy is just a witness he's invisible i, I continue to, to 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 do what i have to do no he he, he, he saved my life and he, he risked his life for me. In the other way, it's, it's the same. I mean, uh, if we can help, we have to help. We don't have just to say, we are just witnesses. We don't do anything. We don't touch anything, like in a crime scene, you know. Uh, no, it's, uh, we are, before uh, being journalists, we are human. So if we are here, if we can do something for them, we have to do it.